there's something weird going on behind me. I'm actually writing a letter to my grandma. And no, that's not some ancient language. This is what's known as stenography or shorthand. If we went back just 50 years ago, this was actually a pretty common sight. And nowadays, almost no one knows what this is. So what is it? I should clarify some things first though. This YouTube channel is usually about game development. But today I'm gonna share with you guys how I built this software that lets you write stenography. This is not going to be a focus on the history of stenography. This is after all a programming channel, so we're gonna check out how I made this software. But let me explain real quick what stenography actually is. The basics is actually super simple. Instead of letters, we have these squiggly lines. And the reason for that is we can chain words together really quickly. Behind me, I'm going through the alphabet and we can simply look on the squiggly lines and find what letter it is. You could write things word for word, but the point of stenography is you don't need to write every single letter. Take the word rough, for example. I love this example. The word rough has five letters, but in stenography, we could write it as R-U-F, rough. Instead of spelling it out exactly, we spell it out how it sounds like. I'm not gonna bore you more with how it works, but I think it's a really cool system. The basics are simple, it's just a different alphabet and you use less words. I decided to use the best programming language in the world, Rust. Rust, Rust, Rust. And to be able to draw things on the screen, I decided to use MacroQuad, which is a game development framework, but we're drawing things on the screen, so it's a good fit. This entire software took me 262 lines of code. Now that's not that bad, but if we go up and take a look on the source code, I'm sure there's probably a much better way to write this code. First I needed to figure out how do I get the text and convert it into images on the screen. I could just take the A text and convert it to an image that has the word A on it, but that wouldn't work because in stenography, some squiggly lines mean multiple things. For example, if you want to write BR, you don't need to write BR, you can just write a larger B. So I need to figure out a way to tokenize this string into components that maps to the correct image. We got vocals, consonants and special words. And after writing some magical code, this text input is converted to a list of these tokens. Now in order to draw these images, I need to know where the stroke starts and where it ends. I had to go letter for letter, hard code into a JSON file these positions. I wouldn't be surprised if this took me about as long as it took me to write this software. I blasted through making this software, so the code is pretty hard to read. I'm not sure if I'm gonna improve it that much, but if you wanna see it, you can find it on my GitHub page. An important note is I'm writing Swedish stenography, and that's maybe very different from other languages. But the cool thing about the software is, if you want, you could basically come up with your own language. If I make a video game in the future where I want to have runic signs, I could make that with this software. Kinda cool. Now, I don't write stenography that often, it's only between me and my grandma. So I thought to keep my skills fresh, I'm gonna create a program that lets me write stenography on my computer. That is the story behind why I made this program. My grandma is the only person I know, period, that knows how to write and read shorthand. And I want it to live on. So to keep my skills fresh, I made this software. This video has been very unusual to what I usually do here on my channel. But I hope you enjoyed this little tale. Let me know if you've heard of shorthand before. Also drop a like if you want to support me. Subscribe. Bye bye. <laughs>